Hey, welcome to Hanson Speed Shop. Today we're looking at a couple of different vehicles here. The 66 Supernova on a retro rig and a 55 Chevy Bel Air. What does all this stuff have in common? Well, we're about to find out. All right, what you just seen was the Mr. Chevy Gasser with matching tow rig, a super cool gasser. Um, one of my favorites, I seen it in a magazine a few years back and really just kind of fell in love with it. That car was originally built in the late 60s as a show gasser that was also raced. Um, the original owner raced it in the late 60s and through the 70s until about, I think, 1976 was the last time the car was ran when the rear U-joint exploded and the car got tucked away. Um, the original gentleman who built the car originally, um, he passed away a few years ago and uh, one of his longtime friends took the car over and now takes it on tour to car shows and vintage drag meets showing the car in its original condition yet. So maybe you'll get lucky enough to see the real thing someday. Um, but as far as for me, uh, about four or five months ago, I decided I wanted to build a 164 scale Hot Wheels replica of the Mr. Chevy Gasser. And to do that, um, this was some of the stuff that I chose to use. Um, I don't really have any video of the build process on this one. I started it uh, about, like I said, four or five months ago. And I'm going to tell you guys, this was not an easy build by any means. Uh, a lot of head scratching, a lot of thought process, and a lot of engineering had to go into what you're going to see later on in the video. But it came out super awesome, so stay tuned for that. It's coming up. You're totally going to dig it. Uh, it's one of my best builds. Super detailed. Um, but basically, what I decided to do was take this retro rig that comes with this Nova. Uh, we're going to do something with that Nova in the future. But I mainly just wanted this truck here. And then I like this style 55 Chevy from Hot Wheels because it just has the stock um, wheel arches and the stock trim and everything on it, which is perfect for this car. But a lot had to go on to modifying this car to make it into the Mr. Chevy uh, gasser, including like a full blown, full custom chassis and uh total custom interior and just a whole bunch of other stuff that we'll get to in just a minute um, but with the truck the idea was basically I'm just gonna it's not the correct truck but we're gonna just give it a repaint and um, you know logo it up like the Mr. Chevy truck so let's take a look at what I did to replicate the Mr. Chevy gasser and hauler all right guys here it is this thing could not have turned out cooler. I mean, I am so proud of this one. This was not an easy build by any means. Um, it took a ton of work. Like I said, I've been working on this thing. Um, it's now uh, the middle of September when this when I'm making this video. I just finished it the day before. Um, and I started on this thing back in like, I'll say early May for sure. Um, I just kind of worked on it here and there as I kind of tried to figure out exactly what I wanted to do and how I wanted to do it. So um, for the color of this, I used the Testers, I think, Pure Gold, um, which is a nice gold metal flake color. And then I handed the Mr. Chevy on the car and the door on the truck. And then... Um, the interiors on both the truck and the car done in a, in a pearl white, just like the real thing. And um, we're just going to go through now and um, take a look at both the truck and the car. We're going to start with the truck and then we'll move to the car second. So I'll set this car off to the side for now. And we'll take a look at the truck. So again, I started with the Hot Wheels Retro Rig. Um, basically, I didn't do any modifications to this other than just a repaint detail. I did the whole thing in the gold, like I said. Um, detailed the door handles on all the compartments, um, the turn signals, the interior is done in a pearl white. And then I detailed all the lights on top of the roof. 
Um, and then the grill was already detailed out from Hot Wheels. I just left that alone. And then I detailed out the taillights. And then I did the bed in a gloss black. I think from Hot Wheels it just comes molded in a gray plastic. And then underneath I just left it just the way it came um, from Hot Wheels. So that is the tow rig for the Mr. Chevy um, Gasser. Now moving on to the car itself, which took the majority of the work to do, um, but it came out super cool. The stance was the biggest thing on this car because the Mr. Chevy Gasser has a real unique stance to it. And um, I think I nailed it on that. And that took a lot of work to get it to sit this way because as you remember this um, casting of the 55 Chevy originally looks like that and sits that low. So to get the car up that much takes quite a bit of work. So um, first what was done I can show you on this car is um, basically that whole front bumper was and grill was all cut out and then um, I just kind of shaved everything just to look like frame rails and then I cut this notch out here and then made uh, a little spun aluminum fuel tank out of a piece of aluminum tubing and then I put some caps on the end of it um, and then on the back of the car the real car has a little parachute so that parachute was sourced from a Hot Wheels Copo Camaro. And then I just cut that out and glued it onto the trunk. Um, then in the interior of the car, as you can kind of see, it has a roll bar. And I bent that up out of aluminum tubing um, exactly the way the one in the real car is. It's just kind of a loop behind the driver's seat. And then it has one bar that goes back um to like the package tray otherwise the whole interior is done up in a pearl white um we'll have some pictures of that at the end of the video um this car is the same matching gold and then we did all the trim on the car headlights taillights i handed the mr chevy logo all the trim around the windows was all detailed here's a look at the front of the car um, taking a look at the driver's side of the car. This car is just so cool. Really has a just super awesome stance to it. And I think it really does um, the real car justice. Um, now taking a look at the underneath of the car. Uh, set this paper towel down here because I want to be gentle with this car. Um, so... Basically, to get the car to sit the way that I wanted it to sit, um, we had to build leaf spring extensions on the back and the front um, to bring the axles down to where I wanted them. And then I made this, um, because this was just a stock Hot Wheels axle that I glued on, and then I put this bump in the middle here to simulate the pumpkin of the rear end and then I made some homemade um, ladder bars on the thing out of aluminum tubing again and then I made again leaf spring extensions in the front and then I did a straight axle um, those are Hot Wheels rear wider wheels by the way if you are wondering that were sourced off a of Hot Wheels 55 Chevy Gasser and then the whole chassis is done up in gloss black and chrome, just like the real car. And then it has some Fenderwell headers on it, just like the real car. So that is the 55 Chevy Gasser's chassis. I'll get this paper towel out of here. This did not want to scratch the beautiful paint job on this car. Now, when I first painted this car before I detailed it or anything... I still had it on my paint stand and it actually tipped over and chipped the car and I was super mad so I had to strip the car and then repaint it. Luckily that was before I did all the lettering and everything on it. Um, the lettering is done um, first black and then I went over it with white. Um, I believe the real car is just done by hand also. 
Um, and I'm just so happy with this car. It turned out perfect. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. Because I think it's super cool. Um, super cool combo of cars. Ton of work went into this one though, guys. Um, but otherwise, that is the Mr. Chevy Gasser. Uh, if you think it's super cool, give it a thumbs up. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for all the support. And thank you for commenting and liking everything. We've gotten a lot of new subscribers recently. But if you're not a new subscriber, I would definitely appreciate it if you do hit that button to get notified and keep up to date with all the cool stuff we're doing here at Hanson Speed Shop because there's definitely a lot more to come. But otherwise, stay tuned for some cool pictures of the car at the end of the video. But otherwise, get out, work on your own projects, get your hands dirty, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.